Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4, Star Wars Palpatine's Gamble, in which we're playing as the nation of Kashyyyk. So, unfortunately right now though, Kashyyyk does not have a unique focus tree, but this gives me the chance to try out the generic focus tree in the mod so far. So, we can do military effort, which gives you, you know, air XP, army XP, which we will need eventually, and naval XP. As well as planetary infrastructure, which looks very interesting. Orbital manufacturing stations. We can get another research slot eventually, as well as an additional one once we have 50 factories, which is pretty nice, because right now we only have two. But let's begin with galactic politics. The galaxy is getting more complicated by the day, and with this changing climate comes a changing course, in which we get a lot of political power. And right now, we can go ahead and invest in our uh, civi factories, in which we get about 1 million credits per day, even though it looks like it's fluctuating just a little bit. And I... I Okay, the CIS is already increasing their tech level. That's not good, but I think for this campaign, we'll try to go ahead and stay with the Republic and do the best we can, because at the time of this recording, I played through the CIS quite a few times, and I'd like to maybe try something else. Now, we could distance ourselves from the crisis, or do political upheaval and basically join the Separatists, but we're going to go with stability amongst a dying Republic. We must stay with the Republic in order to preserve our great planet and to survive this crisis that is coming to change the galaxy, which would be very, very good. And we have no Navy right now, which is not very good, so let's get some money. After we've already spent a whole bunch trying, you know, so we can invest in our civvies, which are, well, they're doing okay. Maybe not great, but they're doing okay. We have a lot of PP right now. We have no military theorists, industrial concerns, all this kind of generic stuff, so. Political advisors. It was recommended that I should play as... Oh, we're warrior. Wow, look at that. We're a warrior planet. I was recommended to play as a Wookiee sometimes, so I figured, you know what? We might as well right now. Wow. This costs 900 PP. Why is it... It's a good 25% recruitable, recruitable population factor. More defense and less training time. But, going up here costs 300 PP, and you get less population and get hit with a lot of penalties. And then you get even less, 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 but it costs more, 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 so... Alright. Interesting, interesting. Also, here are the national spirits that we do have right now. Rusan Combat Restrictions, which is really bad. Rusan Naval Restrictions. We also have Peaceful Giants, which hurts our recruitable population factor by 90%. Wookiees pride themselves on using violence as a last resort, as well as a member of the Galactic Republics. But for now, we might as well go and do some industrial stuff, since we do have the PP. And let's do that as well. Follow it up with, we can do total loyalty to the Republic, or fight corruption within. So this one means you can go ahead and do these four. Request the Republic Defense Force. Um, request Republic Defense Fleet. Nationalize corporation assets and work within the system. Or we can go ahead and do total uh, loyalty to the Republic. Which is probably what we're going to do. Contracts with Kuat. I'm not really sure these, sure these do too much. Contribute to the war effort. Republican or Republic propaganda, which you do get more weekly wars, but which is something we could actually use immediately. And secret police, a Wookiee secret police. I'm not really sure. I would like clone support, but let's do total loyalty to the Republic. We must stand with the Republic no matter what happens in order to help keep the stability of the Republic as well as beating the CIS menace. Which I'm not sure what they're talking about. There is no CIS menace right now. We're just got we're just people, Wookiees, hanging out, having a good time. And can we buy any ships? We can't buy any of this stuff yet, but that's fine. Corvettes and heavy cruisers, not bad. We do want to get some acclimator classes as well as venator classes, so that'd be very, very nice to grab eventually. We definitely need some of these. Make sure you can buy as many of these as you possibly can. And we have George Lucas here and Baby Yoda being covered up. It's all right. L-A-A-T gunships. I love those so much. Clones. Oh, we got some anti... Oh, small arms, I guess. Anti-tank. I love the infantry. So we'll see what happens. Ooh. The market for special clone divisions must have completed the focus order of battle. Well, that's kind of cool. I got some divisions here. We have some bark speeders, ATTEs, SPHAs, ATRTs. Very, very nice. And we made a few more Wookiees, which is very good. Very, very good. And let's get a new commander. Unable to promote. Oh, that sucks. We need more command power, but whatever. We'll do that later on. Um, just keep spending this for now. Can the Republic please increase spending or, you know, learning, please? Um, we get a defense force, which would be good. Let's get secure Senate investments, which looks like we lose 150 credits. So here we can do join the RTC. Hub of Republic Trade versus join the RRC and get a research slot or join the RMC and joint training exercises. Which I kind of want to do this side. I like getting more daily army XP. I don't think we can get some anyways, but secure Senate investments. We must secure a place in the Senate in order to assure our future in the Republic. So we got to save some more credits, but oh, we don't even make one a day. Then again, we just made some more divisions, so what do you expect, you know? So that's okay. We're going to keep investing in ourselves anyway, so that should be okay. Should be. You never know. And these guys are only 18 combo width. Obviously, I want to make these guys a little bit tankier. So we'll see what happens. I 
I wish the Republic would go ahead and buy some ATTEs, but we'll see what happens. I like the Juggernauts, Sabres, Falchion, ATAPs. And we're on Expert Focus. What do we want? Civilian Economy. Let's... Well, we can't go there yet. Uh, we definitely need more Warspur to get to these guys. And we can only choose that one, which kind of sucks, so... Let's go ahead and get this one as fast as possible next. We'll build up a defense force. In order to keep our independence, we can't rely on the Republic. We must create our own defense forces. And the invasion of Naboo... Oh, no, that's not good. Yeah, when the war starts, it's probably not going to be very good for us. But hopefully, the enemies don't have too much armor, and the Republic should have quite a bit of armor. Well, maybe not too much armor, but at least a little bit um, with the clones. So let's get some construction going as well. That doesn't look too good, now does it? But hopefully, we'll get out of that issue very, very soon. Effects. Okay, whoo. Alright, that's a little better. Still not making one a day, but that's alright. Keep making more stuff. Me mechanical computing is very good. We got that one done. Let's get some more output, maybe. No, let's grab some more cat, maybe. Maybe some land doctrine. Now, I've gone uh, mobile warfare. I've done superior fire I've done grand battle plan. I'm pretty sure I've done as well. And mass assault. Maybe we'll try asymmetric warfare. Uh, this would make more sense for us to do it. At least for Wookiees. Deep infiltration, huh? Resistance and recon, division, speed, and defense. Strength and militia. You get a lot more population, which we could use. Taking this route seems like a really bad idea. Last stand, defense and organization, not bad. I like the defense, organization, and max entrenchment. You get even more organization on this side, though. Well, I get that. you get that on both sides. So you get organization and attack, or organization defense. You get more breakthrough, which is really nice. Mm, I like, I really like the entrenchment. Breakthrough. And then max planning. I don't know. Well, you know what? Screw it. Asymmetric warfare. That seems like the uh, the one we would use for Wookiees, maybe. We need a lot of guns. Holy crap. We need a boatload of guns. Come on. Keep making more stuff. We can barely... Aff oh, oh, boy. We just lost some money there. Um, Can we at least buy a ship? I want to at least buy one ship. Oh, we have three. Okay, okay, good train. Just train. Just train, 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 train. Do we have any admirals? No, we do not. That's unfortunate. But hey, at least we got one dreadnought and two corvettes, I guess. They're not great, but they'll have to suffice for now. Just like these guys, who are going to mostly defend for the early parts of the war. Once we start taking over enemy countries, we should do okay, but we really need a bigger industry. Build up a defense force. And then contracts, contracts with Rothana. We will sign contracts with Rothana in order to ensure that we have the necessary equipment to defend ourselves from the upcoming storm. Which probably is very similar to this one. Contracts with Kuwait. In order to ensure the safety of our space lanes, we will sign a contract with Kuwait to provide some more ships domestically. Very nice. Alright, aircraft manufacturers. Light aircraft is usually pretty good. 15% research speed. Why would we choose this one? Well, this one gives us 15% and even more benefits. So, there you go. And then we don't have enough... Uh, war support, so... I don't do one up. This mod this mod moves very quickly, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're about to make another civvy. Hey, we actually make one a day, which is really, 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 really nice. Um, over here, hopefully... Okay, so we have these restrictions. I'm hoping that the Senate removes these restrictions, because if we don't, then we're kind of screwed a little bit. Which is obviously not very good, so... Yeah, Oh, Yes. Oh, we got, wait, we got gunships? I didn't research guns. Hmm. Whatever. We're gonna accept them. Anyways, yeah, getting extra weekly war support will be very good to get. So, oh, or we don't do this one yet, we do this one. Contribute to the war effort. Oh, in order to further the side of the Republic, we must help them in the current conflict against the CIS. Uh, I, I'm, I'm beelining towards this. We need more weekly war support. Now, obviously, once galactic tension increases, we'll get more and more, but I want to get all the way to war economy as fast as possible. I don't mind getting to partial mobilization, it's only 25% war support that you need. But this one's not too bad, so we're not going to spend any more money right now. We'll probably take out some loans, which will hurt us financially, just for a little bit, but not too bad, so. I don't remember Tarful too much, but cool. Uh, Kashyyyk. I always love playing on Kashyyyk on Star Wars Battlefront 2. Really fun uh, little plan to play on. And what do we have here? Yeah, Peaceful Giants. Hopefully we can get rid of that, because it's not very good to have, but whatever. Now let's keep going through our land auction. We, we, we really need to. We don't get that many benefits from it, but... Oh, I want to do that, but we're going to get hit with this penalty anyway, so... Republic propaganda. We must ensure that the Republic is beloved by our people, and we are ready to combat the radicals who will attempt to lead us astray. We get more weekly war support. And only minus 75 million credits. That's all. That's all. Just 75 million. 
In the grand scheme of things, we it won't hurt us, right? Yeah, within a uh, hundred days, we'll get that done. Three months, we'll get that done. So that's not too bad. Um, we are at. Ooh, we're still there. We're still there. So we want to do some this stuff. Might as well, right? Do we have room for military staff? No, we do not. Unfortunate, but if I remember correctly, the CIS has no armor or has some armor, but not that much. I'm hoping that the Republic can actually get to tier two, please. Um, we can really use tier two. We're at minus thirty-seven million, so we'll be fine here. So after this. I think I'm going to go ahead. I'd like to get some more army XP. I would like to request Jedi Advisors as well. Republic Free Trade Zone. I really want the extra army XP. But we already get two extra resource slots later on. So we kind of wait to do that one, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's grab that one too. We more output. Alright, we're only going to get now less than a million. But that's alright, because now we're going to come all the way to the right side. And do Planetary Infrastructure. Gen Infrastructure Effort desk so we get three civvies and two infrastructure which would be great so now we're going to get more weekly war support which would be very very nice and looming bankruptcy but not anymore we get a little more than a million every single day so this way we can help our civvies even more too which is obviously super super important um we need all three of these one two three i'm going to focus on the civvies first so we can just keep building 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 even as we may run out of space on the surface of our planet, there will always be a near infinite amount of space in orbit around our planets. We should utilize this and begin building manufacturing plants in orbit of our planet. So then we get at least a third research slot. And to get down here, we need 50 factories. So we're not doing too bad. We already have 39, so that's pretty good, I would say. And two infrastructure is free, which is really nice, actually, because you're getting more resources that way, too. Resource-wise, we're not looking great. We don't have any spice. Um, let's go and trade for one, maybe. And we need some Dura Alloy. So it's going to cost us a little bit more, but that's kind of okay, just so we can produce this stuff. We can barely make any support equipment, which we're going to need some to help put on some uh, medical companies as well. So after this one, a standardized orbital factory, so get two more civvies. We're the first orbital manufacturing station in orbit. We can study their efficiency and investigate their flaws to produce more orbital stations, which would be nice. Now, the only way you can re remove the Rus on combat restrictions and naval restrictions is literally this focus, unless it's voted on in the senate but i'm not really sure how a historical runs in this mod so we'll see we'll definitely see i do want to play as community sometime but they also have a generic focus tree which is kind of unfortunate but hey you never know oh we just lost three we lost some money there probably because we were buying planes which is super important that's good that's good that's good i'd love to get more cap but extraction would be nice ship art output would be really good as well uh, we're doing our land auction. Maybe get some better infantry equipment because we are actually going to be using infantry equipment in this campaign as well. That's nice. Grab some of this. Thank you. Follow it up with what? An extra research slot? We're going to go with... Ooh, I would like even more civvies as well. But orbital armament production. Just as for orbital civilian space stations, there's near infinite amount of space in our home station for arms manufacturing stations. It would be foolish not to utilize the zero gravity environment combined with massive amounts of space to produce even more arms. Good. And right now, I'm making sure that we're just really incredibly defensive. Keep investing. Okay, so the Republic is finally investing in themselves. Good. That's good. We have a good amount of uh, naval XP. Oh, well. Let's get some more guys. We're not getting any more. Oh, you might need to repair, guys. It would help if we actually had a dockyard, though. Okay. Yeah, that'd be kind of nice. That'd be kind of useful, wouldn't it? There you go. Build that one up first. It shouldn't take too long to build. We do have 13% war support, so I might just spend our people to go up to here first. It gives us 5% more, which would be helpful. Like, that's really... Well... Actually, no. That's a minus 30%, and then this one gives you mi minus 10%, so it's a 20% increase, which is pretty darn nice. And we can use that other melee probably as well, so... There you go. Good. Keep... Oh! Uh, yes. Yes, we're going to vote yes. We need to repeal the thing. So we get some more army XP, make our army bigger. Which would be very, very good. We get more star starfighter experience gain, attack, defense, which would be awesome. Military factory construction speed. Uh, naval experience gain factor, convoy efficiency will all go up, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love democracy. Game rules, huh? Alright. Infantry equipment one is nice. Let's come over here. Can we do this? Yes. Keep building, 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 building. For the love of God, keep building, 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 building. There you go. A little more than one a day is really nice, too. Alright, so we're at 15%. Just go and jump here. We gotta produce faster, 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 faster. And we get more CVZs as well. Good, good, good. Um, we're gonna need some... Ooh, we're gonna really need some convoys here. But unfortunately, we need that first. Followed up with these guys. And maybe these guys. Uh, make the screens first, just because they probably need them a little bit more than the capital ships. Nothing there. Sudden envelopment. Followed up with elastic defense, which you get plus one organization for infantry. 
and you don't get more max entrenchment, you just get entrenchment speed. Ah, <sighs> doesn't it feel good doing that? That just feels so good. These guys, uh, they're only 18 come with. I'll probably just buy tanks or something to help them out. But standardized arms production platform. If we create a set of standardized de designs for these orbital production plants, we'll be able to easily create and launch more factories in orbit. And then we'll get more and more factory th while we're trying to build this up. And we'll probably have enough to finally go ahead and do extra research slot. Nice. Our industrial expansion and other recent advances might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. Probably followed up immediately with, the rapid industrialization of our nation has opened up new opportunities R&Ds that we should pursue. Which sounds pretty darn nice. 60 million credits, not enough. Even though we are probably buying more of these, right? Yep. That'll be very good to do. And we have level 2 stuff here as well. Nice. Cool. Our, uh, let's get that research done. Oh, we just bought one of these ships, too. Well, actually, that could be a lot worse. And I would like to buy infantry. Actually, it was 5 million credits. We don't really have 5 million credits. So that's unfortunate, but whatever. Eh. Oh. Where are you guys at? You say you're an acclimated class, but you No civvies, huh? Okay, well, extra research slide it is. Very nice. And now we have 49. So after that, then we'll probably come down here. If we can... Planet killing weapons sound like a lot of fun. Secret weapons sound like a lot of, a lot of fun too. Military effort would be really good as well to get some more army XP immediately. That's only 35 days. Ooh, 1 million anyways. Do we want more civvies first and then we get more money? Or do we want army XP? Let's grab some more army XP first. Oh no, no, I want civvies. I want, I want the civvies first. It's a 70 day focus, which sucks, but that's alright. We now have a set of plans for a fully functional and efficient orbital factories based off of our own research and other plans currently in use in the other systems. It's now possible to send another batch of these orbital stations in orbit. Where else would you put them? In the ground? Maybe. We're looking pretty good here, actually, for defensive maneuvers or p positions. There's only two areas they can come in, and our guys are continually training, which is really nice, actually. Ah, get a lot of naval XP. We're barely getting any arm XP, though. We're lacking all so many guns. Holy crap. Just do that first. Now we need... Oh, that helped out. Mostly from new deployments. Minus 59, 24, 90. Oh boy, what's going on? Sounds like a lot of hubbub. Close it out. Mass produced stations. And 23% war support. We're going to jump up next to the next one. Let's grab some military effort just in case we need some more army XP immediately. But first, more research. My bad. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Cool. This would be nice to do. But CS military efficiency subs like this. Not bad. Um, actually, we grab, no, we gotta grab this one first. The rapid industrialization of our nation has opened up new opportunities in R&D that we should pursue. Pretty, pretty generic, but it, it works. It really works. It just works. Actually, can we grab one of these guys? I, oh, we need 59 million credits. In stock 11. But didn't we just buy one of these and it wasn't a CV? I don't think it was a CV. Arquinets class, victory class. Mandator 2. Alright, are we actually making money here? It's taking a while to make some more money. That sucks. But we do have 62 army XP, which is really nice. And we'll grab research slot 2. Nice. Good, good, good. Diplomacy. Oh! Emergency powers? Oh, we love emergency powers. It's weird being part of the Republic and not... Oh! Oh, people were voting quite... Oh, they're voting quite a bit against it. Oh man, that's kind of a close vote. That's almost like 50-50. Almost as if people like want a civil war or something. Ah, emergency powers are always absolutely necessary. Oh, there it goes. Oh, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. We don't have enough guys to train, or enough materials to train with, so... Yeah, we gotta get ready for war, because once that thing just launched, then it's pretty much time to go to war. Yeah, we definitely need these guys. Yeah, we don't have enough money. We just don't. This is not going to be easy. But I have 20 and 1. That's not too bad, right? As long as we keep building up our civvies. Oh, we're 38% actually right now. Let's go there. We can probably jump to 50% once the galaxy breaks out into complete conflict. Looking a little better. 1.162 is not too bad. But now can we buy one of these guys? No, we have 54 million. Yeah, we already bought the acclimator class, right? Yeah, look at this. This is it. They say it's a civvy. What is not a civvy? They lied to us. There you go. Get some of those guys in. Get some sort of navy around here. That's probably going to get the, the crap blown out of it, but whatever. 
We'll do the best we can. Actually, do we even need... Hmm. No tanks, huh? Heavy artillery would be nice. Cool. Alright. Followed up with what? Let's grab the military effort. It's important to build up our armed forces and continue modernizing our forces so that they can compete with other systems and defend ourselves. Absolutely. Another research slot is bueno, bueno, bueno. We're doing that as well. Let's grab some of this. Yes. Some more soft attack would be good. Because I have a good feeling we're probably going to get invaded sometime. Now, it's my role here, hopefully, to just, like, help, like, defend other planets and such first. Because if not, then we're kind of screwed. But, you know, what else is new? Oh! Oh! Dock 1! This isn't historical, so... And they're in the what? Military creation? Yes, please. Most people are for it, so which is pretty nice. Cool. Dock is part of what? Oh. Corn is... Part of the Galactic Republic. Here's a part of, part of the CIS military effort. Nice. And if we have more of that stuff, well, let's come back over here. And do... Uh, request Jedi Advisors. Due to our planet being under attack, we can request a gen uh, general of support to fight the Separatist forces in an advisory role. Well, there's less losses. Which is probably a pretty good thing for us. Uninhabited planet. Wow. Pamant. All Republic machine equipment. Nice. Uh, let's grab some dockyards. We're going to get some more output too. That elastic defense is good. Now, deep infiltration. Give more breakthrough and attack on core territory. Uh, or army organization regain more reconnaissance. More division speed and defense. It's only 3% defense though. And get more breakthrough. Or we get 5% more recruitable population, which looks pretty good. We're going to get another 2% eventually though. Um... Uh, this one looks okay. You get population. And that's pretty much it. Population. I prefer this one. At least you get some breakthrough. And you get a little bit more defense. Even though that 5% could come in really handy. Get, total effective total manpower is modified to 10%. Can we get rid of gi this giant one? Peaceful giants? Bringing down the giants. More attack and efficient defense. No. We cannot get rid of that. So honestly... We're probably going to need to go down the right side. Strength and Militia, then. Just because deep infiltration would be nice. But we're probably going to need that extra manpower. I ju we just don't know. Like, maybe it's the wrong way to go, but I don't know. Hmm. That's good. Always having 2 million credits. Yeah. I mean, even that population doesn't give us that much more, realistically. So. Not bueno. Not bueno at all. Actually, what's our organization like for these guys? Because we do need to throw on another group here. Alright, so let's cut you out. And just focus on ourselves. So our defense is... It's alright. Soft attack is not too bad. Organization is okay. HP is okay. Entrenchment is what? Zero? We definitely gotta get a research company... A support company next. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's 43%. It's still going up, which is nice. It's going up just a little bit. Not very much, but a little bit. Because we want to get to here. So that'd be nice. We're loyalists. And then... Request Legion Assistance. Establish a secret police? Well, well, we're kind of okay for now. I guess we'll do contracts? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But first, research. Better infantry equipment? Yes, please. Uh, I'll do contracts. In order to ensure the safety of our space lanes, we'll start a contract with the Kuat to produce some more types of ships domestically. Well, we'll see what happens. Can we at least buy tanks yet? We can buy some of these guys. Oh, maybe buy some of these guys too? Fighter CVs? We have no monies. Wow. Five million credits, man. Wow, we keep trying to buy more and more and more. We'll keep going back down to two. Well, how many? How much do we have bought? We have a lot bought. Wow, look at that. All right, so maybe we should stop buying all this stuff then, because we can't even use them yet, so... Dockyards are nice. Yeah, it's not easy playing as a super minor power here. Uh-oh, and we have an address. I don't know, I don't like reading addresses. Oh, uh, the, these guys are killing each other. Okay, go home. Go home and repair for now. Get some more money. Yeah, just get some money. Maybe we'll throw on uh, some of these guys if we can. Can we buy these guys? How many tanks do we get? How much armor do we get, actually? That's my real question. SPHA. Let's take a look. Wookies? Well, what do we have here? These are... 
Oh, Republic tanks. Well, they're just different in name. The stats don't even change at all. Yeah. Um, I personally love the ATTE walkers. These are cool and all. These tank type of tanks, saber tanks and heavy tank. But these walkers are where I, I, I really feel it. I'm really feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Nice. Wookies with tanks. I love the concept. I think we could really use this. We just need more money now. We need more tanks. Auto buy is on. Keep buying them. Because we're going to need them. And we're actually doing really, really well on guns now. Request clone legion assistance. We'll request a clone legion from the Republic so that we can further secure a planet from separatist incursions. Smart idea. I keep treating one for now because we're doing quite a okay on this stuff for now. Uh, plane wise, we got enough of these guys' gunships. Are these? Do they actually have. So your fighters, and basically your fighters and cast, maybe. Attack, defense, agility, ground attack is eight, so I love these things so much, man. Okay, land auction. Let's grab some engineers. That'll be good. All right. What are we missing? Anything? Republic tanks? Support equipment's not bad. Yeah, not too bad, actually. We have, like, no money, but hey, that's all right. Tank-wise, 250. We must have bought just some more. And we bought even more, which is good to see. But then we're going to go do Establish Secret Wookiee Police. That sounds like a lot of fun. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we do the RTC and hub of Republic Trade? Should we do join the RRC? and talented scientists or should we do the RMC and joint training exercise let me know in the comments below which way do you think we should go now I'm gonna go back to the right side here and can you continue doing uh, streamline arms protection secret weapons let's do secret weapons it's tempting to expend all extra resources in developing tanks and planes but the secret to winning wars lies in the whole new fields of science electronics rocketry and nuclear research go ahead and train that's fine with us and the wars is pretty much already started, right? CIS is taking people out. All right. I'm not sure if we can really do anything here. Can we join your faction, actually? Or oh, we're already in the faction. But oh, so these guys are not fighting each other. The, it's kind of a wars sort of started situation, sort of. There we go. The Clone Wars have now begun, my friends. Um. Oh crap. Bark speeders. That does not look like a bark speeder, I'll be honest. SPAA artillery. Oh, I definitely want some of that good stuff. Yes, sir. It's kind of confusing to look at this stuff, but that's alright. God dang, we just don't have enough stuff to import. We can't even extract it normally. There you go. Let's make one a week, maybe. Oh, man. We just don't have the resources to really attack. Um, where's CIS? We could maybe attack these guys. Maybe try to be a little successful here. Uh, that's not gonna be good. That's not gonna be good, man. We're gonna try it anyways. We do have the armor, and if we're, we're close enough so that we we get invaded, we can probably make a quick trip back here. So we'll see what happens. I'm doing that, please. Thank you. And then you guys come from here. Invade right there. Cool. I'm not joining yet. How are the ships? Are they ready to go? Actually, they might be ready to go, actually. These guys are not very strong at all, man. Oh, this is so bad. Wow, people are really killing each other here. I mean, is as to be expected, of course. Alright, so I think for now, Republic Tanks, we can take this one off. Uh, how much artillery do we have? Oh, we have quite a bit of artillery. Oh, baby, we might want to throw in some artillery. That would... Re Actually, that gives us more armor. And piercing. Let's throw that on there, too. There you go. Give us one more day. Three. Two. Oh, yes, please. Yes. And, of course, you've got weapons. All right. Hopefully, we got some clone legions or whatever, but... All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, these people all want our help. Well, let's see what we can do before we invade. Let's get a commander here. Promote Grabo. Be offensive. Into that one too. 
Oh, we sort of landed. Well, we'll get this guy to be there. Just keep these guys here for now. My goal is to encircle these guys and kill them off. Uh, you guys have the support attack here, actually. Can they pierce us? Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. And that's the most important thing. Wait, did you guys lose? Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. Well, that's not good. We might want to retry this. And, we, and mm, well, maybe we lost the, the attack. Well, if that's the case, I think we'll end the episode here then, just because our guys aren't going yet, which is not very good. Uh, you guys hold here, maybe? How are you guys not over there yet? Why are you taking so long? Seriously. You guys should have been there yesterday. You literally should have been there yesterday. Force defense for now. Well, if we can't win, then we'll probably restart this type of invasion probably in the next episode. So, well, I guess I'll end it here and probably retry this off screen. But if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we try to be more successful and when invading. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.